Hello everyone and welcome to Inside the Agency, where we talk about the latest topics and concerns of independent agents. I'm your host, Daniel Ocho, and I brought back with me Mark Hilton. Mark, glad to have you back. I'm glad to be back. It's been a while. We've done a lot of conventions lately. We've been traveling quite a bit. So we do apologize we haven't been communicating with you guys, but we were really honored and we were glad to be back. Yes, uh, I agree. Uh, today we're going to talk about workflows, Mark, uh, the importance of workflows, why agencies should implement that in their, uh, in their offices. Uh, Mark, can you tell us why workflows are important and what is a workflow, Mark? Because uh, I'm shocked that there are a lot of agents that don't even know what a workflow is. You're absolutely right. The essential, what the workflow really does is it helps minimize uh, things from slipping through the cracks. It is an automated process that begins to allocate projects and tasks to your agents to immediately follow up on. And so this way, you're able to stay focused and make sure nothing goes through or causes e &O exposures. Good. Uh, let me give you an example of what a workflow is. Uh, and you can agree with me or disagree uh, if you want, Mark. But uh, a perfect example is there are insurance companies out there, like homeowners insurance companies, where when an agent writes a policy, the agent is required to go to that home, take a picture of the outside uh, of the front and the mm -hmm. back of the home. Yep. Okay, so what happens is a lot of agents, they'll write the policy and there's someone in the office that knows every time they write a homeowner's policy that he needs to go out and take pictures. So somebody writes a homeowner's policy and the person who is supposed to take the pictures never knew that the homeowner's policy was written days go by weeks go by now the insurance company is threatening to cancel that policy because they haven't received pictures uh, do you agree with that yes absolutely the one of the best ways to prevent things like this from happening or or issues to arise later on is that you can actually set up the automations which is if you everybody go to our automated agency marketing items you can actually set up the automated tasking where when this file is created and conceived, especially like a homeowner's, you can make and construct the automations where it will flag a certain agent to do this at a certain time to go out to certain properties. You can actually define information, directions, and other stuff that is required for the agent to understand what is required of them from the task flow. Yeah, so you know you can set it up to where every time somebody enters a homeowner's policy in the system, the system will automatically generate that task, assign it to an employee, and you can have it do that immediately, a day later, two days later. And, and Mark, from what I understand, there's a lot of commercial policies that you know you enter into the system, and things still need to be taken care of. Maybe it's underwriting. So, you know, somebody enters a worker's comp policy that you could assign a task to an employee to make sure that all the underwriting is taken care of and making sure that all the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted, is that correct? Absolutely. You know, a lot of commercial properties, that's a good uh, good example on the commercial, some, some of them are 120 days out. So there's a lot of work that you have to accumulate before a renewal process actually takes place. So what happens is 120 days is a long time to remember something, especially when we got several thousand policies like this. So what the automations is in place is that it begins to automatically sign this work on that exact 120 days so everybody's freshly reminded when they need to do it and how long they have to take to get the project completed. That's a great point and I'm glad you brought that up because it's not just about new policies. It could automatically, or you could have the system automatically create a task assign it to an employee every time a policy expires. That, is that correct. way that customer is getting a personal phone call and not just an email. Absolutely. And there's different type of trigger points that helps you get this in motion is, you know, from activities to the, uh, the minute the statuses of the policy changes, which will cause trigger points, which will then activate the program and immediately begin to assign these alerts and these other issues to the agents to resolve right away. Okay, Mark, so why don't you, I think they understand now, so why don't you show us, and let's use the homeowners as an example. Sure. Show us how you would create a task every time that somebody enters a homeowner's policy in the system, you want a task created. So show us how that sure. works. Simple. All you got to do is go to your admin, go drop down, and you're going to look for your auto marketing automations, and then you're going to add one in. Once you get in there, of course, you're going to just define it. You got a title where you can call it homeowner search or whatever, how you want to categorize this. Then you got your activities. Then you're going to select what type of things you're looking for. So I'm going to select, say, new policies. And then immediately another sub, uh, the, uh, the filter system begins to kick in based off what you pick up. So now I can select homeowners. 
So out of abodes, BOPs, CGLs, I'm going to select homeowners. So every time a new homeowner is entered in the system, it's going to immediately assign this work to an agent to receive this to do a verbal communication to the client to show appreciation, to make sure the client has any questions, concerns, to answer any other things that the client might be resolved, just to show good faith that you're there and you're on their sides. Then you can sign the tasks off to each person and how much and what type of priority, the status of it, how long the task is due, and then ultimately then you can have it assigned to, to a particular agent who does these particular follow-ups. So once this is in place, it is going to be regimented where every single time something like this event occurs, this particular agent or agents, depending on how many you set up, will be contacted to do their job. Oh, great, Mark. Excellent. I uh, also wanted to talk about Mark because, you know, that's a great tool. I think all agents should be using it. Absolutely. Uh, you know, it is only on our diamond package. Uh, so you, if you don't have the diamond package, that's probably why you don't see it. Uh, but the, the, the cost and the time that it's going to save you will uh, make up for whatever the, the raise in the diamond package is. Absolutely. And one of the beautiful illustrations I use with a lot of our clientele is it's kind of like, you know, doing your laundry. You know, so if you could take, you know, 30 minutes to wash your clothes, 30 minutes to dry your clothes, another 30 minutes to iron and put them away. But if you spent that hour and a half and you were able to do that exact same project, get the exact same results in five to 10 minutes, would you do it? Well, absolutely. It's a no-brainer. If you say all day long, the question is why? Well, simple. It frees me up to do other things that are very important that I got to take care of that day. But with the automations in place, it helps maximize your time, speed things up, and makes it more efficient. People become more accountable so nothing slips through the cracks. So this way things get done in a timely fashion. Okay. Now, Mark, uh, I'm sure there's a lot of agents who are watching this that have a concern. Okay. What if these tasks are being created, they're being assigned to my employees, but they're just deleting them or they're not following up with them? How do you prevent that from happening and how do you make sure that your employees are taking care of the task? Well, it's one of the beautiful things about Agency Matrix. There's a way that you can actually track and you can keep, uh, keep your workflow monitored. If you, have, if you go to your homepage, you, at the very bottom left side, you're gonna have what's called your task, your open task. There's a section there for an expand task view, which will give you the actual breakdown of all the work and all the automations that have been assigned to particular offices, particular agents, or particular groups in which you have it. We have a filter system too as well. So if you click on the filters, it gives you a criteria in which you can now pull up, say, everybody who's been assigned your renewals to make sure they're doing the renewal stuff, everything from quotes and all the other from claims issues, underwriting. So you can go by the dates that it showed by their close if somebody deleted them out of the system. Like that, you can choose it by the customer's office in which they're allocated to, priorities, and then types of policies such as renewal list, your cancellation, the underwriting, uh, uh, and, and much, much more. So you can actually track this, filter it out, and only pull up. So you might have, let's say, a hundred different workflows going on at any given time through all your branches and your, and your agents and even more than that. So there's times where you just want to see only one aspect of your company. So you can just filter this out and look at all the people who just worked on the renewals just to make sure they're doing their job and that the people are being contacted. It is a beautiful tool to help maximize your usage of your time and the work in which you allocate to people. And as an agency owner yourself, Daniel, and I've been an agency owner myself, is that time is money to us. And when I spend money, I want to make sure my employees and my staff are doing the best for my clientele for the investment which I put in there. And the workflow is a perfect way to manage this. Yeah, I like what you said, Mark. It is a beautiful tool that all agents should be using. It's almost like having a part-time employee in your office, making sure that everybody's taking care of their things, that they're supposed to be taking care of. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know, most people, you remember in the old days where you had the different type of phones where you had to type in, you know, before you had the smartphone touchscreen technology, but once you transition over and you begin to use that touchscreen technology and that new smartphones, you begin to look at your life on, you, how, how did I make it this far without it? Well, same thing with the workflows and the management system, the automations. Once you begin to implement this in your agency and your company and you're utilizing this, you're going to go back and say, I, I can't believe I made it this far without it because it's going to help streamline, make you money and save you money and, and help minimize all those eno exposures and nasty clients when they say, well, John never called me. And you know, if you don't have the diamond package now and you're thinking about upgrading, you can call our office. 
We have a couple of trainers that will uh, train you through all the different options that you get on the diamond package because it's not just the workflows. You get a lot of other features uh, on the diamond package. And we'll sit down with you. We'll spend an hour, hour and a half with you. We'll teach you all the tools that we have to run your uh, office more efficiently. So it's well worth the money. So like I said, if you uh, are thinking about upgrading, just call our office, talk to your salesperson. We'll set up an appointment for a trainer to call you and go over all these features with you. Uh, Mark, can you think of anything else? No, that's basically about it. Okay. Well, hey, I want to thank you all for joining us again. Uh, once again, we're sorry that we've uh, been gone for a couple months, but uh, got really busy on the road. We are back, and hopefully we will have these every month again. And uh, I want to thank you for joining us. Until next time, have a great week, and we'll see you again. Good day.